I have to point out that's probably the worst slip up ever compared I called Benson Sims yesterday. Good morning, Championship Sunday. We are here live at EGL 13 Blackpool. Well, tell you what, yesterday was great. Today is going to be amazing. Yeah, yesterday we seen some great plays from ex extremely good teams. And at the end of the day, you can only expect more and more on the championship Sunday. We saw some great clutches, ace plays. We see TCM's Monkey B take on a four and one. Absolutely awesome. Awesome stand up. On your screen right now, guys, is the team of TCM. There's Gunchy, PT, Moose, and Marky B, and the big man standing behind at the helm. He looks like Captain Kirk on steroids. Just, just putting that one out there. And there's the team there of Exertus with Rated, Reedy, Endura, and Robs. That, uh, you know, I spoke to uh, Reedy yesterday about their performance uh, when they took out Vitality. Obviously, Vitality, top French team, um, one of the top teams in Europe. They really showed them how to play Call of Duty. Yep, I had the, uh, I had the pleasure of casting that game, and Exeter just turned up and the Vitality didn't. It, it's, it's a real big thing when you look at the actual way that Exertus have come into this. The big momentum push without a shadow of a doubt was winning the bracket, pushing them into G3, going up against the big NA boys and you know th they were talking about the rotations map and they played domination, they held into it, they had the control. Today with the maps that we have are we going to see the same Exertus? Are TCM going to be able to take a 3-0? For me uh, this is the opportunity. If Exertus take this, I can see these boys setting up as one of the top finalists today. Well, yeah, straight away the first game is going to be Sovereign Domination, so we'll jump straight into that game and we'll see whether uh, Exodus, Exodus can uh, repeat what they did yesterday. Yeah, I hope we can indeed. For me, Sovereign on Domination is one of those maps that offers up so many variants. Yep. It, it really does depend on the control. If you can pull them out of spawn, um, hold that mid-map again, it, you can really sit them in that spawn trap. So as we're going to go right into the game, we're going to see how these boys are going to pan out. Let's, let's have Press. a look. Bottom. Yeah, we're on that one. There we go. Let's jump on board with the man Reedy himself as we go into this and have a look. Right, uh, Reedy literally sitting on the MTAR. Just give you a team readout. Reedy currently 2 0. Endura 0 and 1. Rated 0 and 0. And obviously, Rob's hitting on for two points straight off the bat. Let's jump on board with Rob's right now. He's going to hold for the flag. Uh, actually, let's jump on board with the man here. Moose currently 3 0. As we jump on board with Curse of the Caster, unfortunately. There's Gunshi currently 1 0. Holding on this yellow stairs. Picks off one nicely. There's a possible piece of a two. Oh, doesn't manage to take it. Had to go for the reload as we spawn on back on board. Now we're going board with PT. Yeah, there's was a great break from TCM. They have that map control, and now they're just going to slowly walk and walk away as we see PT get taken out. So on board with Reedy now. So we make some moves on the B domination. Right, nice headshot there on Gunshi for him. He's going to be defending it while his team's up. And there we go, X just get that B domination. Yeah, that's a great pick and play there from these guys. Can come right in front of him. He's going to get taken out. PT's going to clean him on top of that caution. On the left-hand side, he rated, then comes in, sees him off, goes for the two-piece, gets taken out by Marky B. Martin Jura's coming down as one to his left-hand side. Surely he must have heard him drop. Is he going to back off? He's going for the quick wall bang. He's going to come. Yes, he's going to see three servers, but he goes down. TCM now taking the slaying power. 22 to 21, as we see Moose now sitting literally on that little glitch. It's a nice little place where you can sit, where you can get this flag without being tagged up. Yeah, exactly. see a love a play. Look at that by Pete with a two-piece. Yeah, we do see Rated clearing up with a nice two-piece on himself with Marky B. So let's jump on with Gunshi now, who is going to have to try and defend his place. There we go, Peter gets get taken out, so jump on with Marky B and his blue snake. Which hopefully, by looks things, neutralise that A flag and take a little bit of pressure off the B domination. Yeah, great play by Marky B. He's going to pick one off on that course. He's going to turn to the left and see if he can play any plays off there. Sees him trying to go for the B. Gets a, gets a hit marker. Is he going to pick any off as there's two sitting on there? They need to try and regain back this B dom. Currently only holding C on Sovereign. Picks a nice easy kill off there. He's going to control Spain, but it's Nietzsche spawned top yellow. He has to be careful. He's going to come up behind him. There's another great pick. One to his left-hand side. There's, oh, that was unlucky play, but Petey would come in and take that as we jump on board with Petey. <laughs> he gets taken out by Endura. And for me at the moment, it seems to be so close. If this is anything to go by for the rest of the maps, we're in for one hell of a ride. Yeah, I'm a little bit... Um a little bit unhappy about Endura's performance at the minute. He played extremely well as he does get taken out. So John Warrior Rubs played extremely well yesterday. Going against Vitality, getting many clutches, going on 14 kills, I believe, in Search and Destroy. And, you know, I have a John Warrior PT now who has that B domination for his team with Gunchy. And I'm just going to be watching the right side for your extent. He does see it. Shots go fine. Endura does get the kill. And now Marky B is going to have to wrap all the way around as three members of the TCM lineup are down. Marky B's last man left. Bullets go down at B domination. And there we go. TCM will back up. 
Yeah, TCM back up and just have a look here on the left hand side. Again, Reedy takes a kill. Great play though by Exertus. Three players taken out of the bat. As we see Gunchi with a beautiful T piece come up on your kill feed. Let's jump on board with him right now as he's going to rotate onto this right hand side. Make sure nobody's pushing through here. Clear off the back and going to look for the A capture. If he pulls this on the flag, he needs to be careful. There's one. Picks him off. Easy goes for the two. Yes, he does. He gets the headshot. Sit down. Gunchi's on the prowl as he's pushing through on the left hand side. There's a possibility of another one here. Ah, oh, this is going to be beautiful. Takes the. <laughs> Takes the kill, locks in the specialist bonus and see if he can pick off another play. He's got to be careful, they're going to know he's there. He's got his teammate of Moose that's just appeared on his right hand side. Let's just move through. He's going to play a sneaky beaver tactic. Is he going to pick one on his right hand side? Oh, no one sees him. He does get tagged up, comes up behind and Rob sees away that danger. As Regis now trying to battle on this yellow. Exertus really are keeping this so, so close. Yeah, Exertus are really keeping up, considering that TCM of the uh, one of the top three teams considered to be at this tournament and Exus, I believe they was the seventh seed coming into this tournament. Oh. The oh. where Robs does get taken down on the B domination. So jump on board with Moose, whose team is taking the, TC, the B domination. So he's gonna be watching this right side lane. Stuns go down, Sentex goes down, he's gonna wait that no one oh. touched it. It's the man Marky B though. Marky B again seeing off Endura. He's going to try and push. It's the triple cap. It's locked in. He's going to pick him off. He goes down. Robs takes a headshot. Surely now Robs is going to be able to gain this one back as we're on board with him. He's trying to gain at least some little bit of dignity. And literally, we say it was that close. There's two points of difference. Going in with 20 seconds now left on the clock with that triple cap. Just give him that little bit more comfort zone, you know. Against yep. Exerta though. Is it going to be that comfortable? Or are they going to push back and try and get the triple in the second half? Well, TCM have played extremely well. They've managed to get the map control and managed to rotate when they need to. However, not taking anything away from Exertus, they managed to keep up the scoreline only until the last very minute. And at the end of the day, I expect Exertus to uh, come out fighting stronger in the next round. The, it, it does really come down to the spawns, uh, the second half of the maps. It, it, that's what, it, for me, if, if they prefer that rotation, that's when you can see a triple cap. It did take three, three and a half minutes, really, for TCM to try and find that fluidity yep. and bring it back in. Exertus denied them all the way through in those first three and a half minutes. Came into it, boom. As soon as they found their niche, they just ran with it. And that really showed in good favour for them coming into the second round. As we are literally going to default on with the man here, PT. Currently 16 and 13. Two captured him. But look at Gunshi. Gunshi with four captures. That really just shows you the power of this game for captures. Normally you'll see maybe two. Here, with both teams looking on the even level, it just means that TCM now managing to hold those for that fraction longer, gaining those points on the board. Yeah, right, so Exertus is going to be making some moves on his left side. Oh. Then Marky B goes huge with a two-piece, and he's going to instantly jump on that B flag with his teammate support and get that capture for his team. Yeah, there he is. He's going to hold this B, managing to gain that back into TCM's favour. However, they are losing A. Exertus is going to push forward and gain that back into him, seize him off nicely. Moose is going to see that clear. Let's have a look. He's the one coming on top right. <laughs> Rob takes him out as Raidy's teammate gets a kill as well. There's a long shot, though. Great play from this man of PD. He's going to hold out, make sure no one's going to take on the right. Is he going to get the wall bang? No, he picks up the assist though. So TCM really trying to hold these two flags right now as Reedy takes him out. Reedy gets a two piece. Let's jump on board with Reedy. 13 and 15. I have to say, not really any positive slaying score here. Exertus just seemed to be on that back foot just a bit. Yeah, saying that Reedy is on a five point streak as it is. He's going to be looking around, hunting for more kills around this control area with that vector of his. Did you see the kill? Nice kill there. Make that a, uh, a four-point shoot. Oh! Seven-point shoot by Reedy. Reedy is really turning up right now, and he's going to go ahead and make Emrose towards that A domination side. And this is where the when Reedy turns up in Jura seems to follow suit. Let's see how this one plans out. We're going to push this forward. This up at 17, 15, and three. 15, 18, and four. Oh, that's an unlucky pick, but he does get seen off that. Let's run on board with them. Yep, exactly. Raiden Ray now is going to be in this locker area around the left side. Does get a nice kill. It's a little bit interesting how they got the B and C domination side. Raiden now does get a kill and that's all four members of TCM down and they are going to be spawning back at the flag of A. We cut. X is really now goes huge with the four piece. That was a great four piece by him. He's going to be going on the A domination side now. 
Gonna be making moves. TCM really needs to pull their workout because the score by Exus is slowly crawling away from them. As good she gets the kill on Reedy. Yeah, we're gonna go and ball with Endura. Currently 19 and 20. Endura now having the best of games, but four of TCM all down now. Oh my word! This is a rare sight you see on this map. So let's jump on board with Rated. He seems to be doing the damage on a five-point streak on 18 and 18. Five captures is 126 to 113. That's gonna Guys, we're going to have a, a bit of a, I believe, I understand a live team talk with the guys from Exan to see how they're planning out right now. As they're trying to push this, if we're looking at it right now, it's 130 to 115. Exan is bringing the place as a great kill from Rated as he jumps off Yellow Cat. Well, he's going to get picked off by Marky B. Let's have a look at Rob's. He's led caution. He's, he's, he's up top. He's up top. Shit, man. He's top yellow. Top yellow. Top yellow. Right, take our time again. We'll get, we'll get out. We'll get out. We'll get out. Someone just sneaked away. Someone sneaked away, I say. Can't send this next. They're gonna push. Under ground, under ground, under ground, under ground. Come in the noose. He's weak on B. Weak on B. Weak on B. One's out. One's open. Great weak. He's gone back towards green. Come back towards green. He's gonna challenge you from green. He's gonna challenge you from green. Last one's green. Last one's green. Last one's green. Help me on this. Oh, he's out. Oh, caution. Oh, caution. Oh, caution. Oh, caution. Green. Oh, caution. Green. There's three of them around that side. Just don't go through the way. Don't go through the way. Green. 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 Blue street. Blue street. One shot. He's one shot. He's gone back on B. Gone back on B. Yeah, he's B. 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 We need. We need just a neutral. C. 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 Biggest kill of the game. Nice. One blue street. One blue street. I'll get him. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Get on B, get on B, get on B, get on B. Go smash for research, he's going green, he's going green side. Oh my god. Wait. Green side. For more research. He's got me, he's got me, he's two. One more, I got a neutral. I've just neutralized it, I've neutralized it. Let's go! One on B, one on B. I'm jumping, I'm jumping it. You're on B. They're playing C, they're playing C, they're playing C. One snake, 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 dead. Blood. Three dead now. I'm going there, I'm going there, I'm going there, I'm going there. Play B, can B, play B and can B. I'm getting you green right now. They're on A, they're on A, they're on A. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Got one, you're blue. Hey, dead, Let's dead, go! One more front there, one more front there, front there, front there. Come see. Go see. Going back now, going back now. We went off a one cap, man. Respond there. Push A, push A, push A. Go back B, go back B. One on B, one on B. Two on B, two on B, two on B. Two on B. Two on B. You got C, you got C, you got C. I'm camping there. Let's go, boys! Respond to C, respond to C. Caution, 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 caution. I caution, he's going lab, going lab, going lab. Oh, you're so easy! Fucking go, Brad, man. Fucking, fucking go. go, man. Come on. Reese, come on. Fucking go, man. Fucking go, Reedy, man. Well played. Fucking go, man. Fucking so many three pieces there from you, that one. Fucking hell. Pay this fucking SD now. 2 0 fucking up. They're fucking shit without their fucking connection. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, welcome about? back. Wow, what a game. Exerters turning up in the last quarter there, really bringing the planes. We do apologise about the swearing, obviously. There's nothing we can really do about it. It just shows you how hyped these guys are. Wow. Wow. Would, highlight quickly. Has to be the four piece. It has to be. Reedy. I don't, I don't know. It's, he pulled out, pulled out of nowhere. It, 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 as I said before, when Reedy turns up, they follow suit. He hits a 30 bomb. And Jura sits on 25 and 27. Look at the captures, though. I think that half, when they stepped up, very similar to the first half of TCM. But this time, Exertus knew how to play it. Really wanted for a push. Guys, I tell you, absolutely outstanding. Let us know what you think. Who was the big play there for you? Who was the player? Who's the MVP? Who stood out? <laughs> Remember, tweet us at EGLTV and also it's hashtag EGL13. Also, guys, if you fancy winning yourself a set of trainers, one tra pair of trainers per month, go on to jd.egl.tv. All the information is there for you guys to sign up. We will be back after this short break with some more SND live action.